in the dynamic world um, get pulled into shape so much when there's so much to do, it seems, to solve problems. Yeah. And when the state of presence, I could, I could certainly see how I'm not the doer of everything, how it's everything flowing, but when I'm not, when you're not what? When I, I get triggered and then I'm in 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 solving sort of problems. And then we're identified again with, absolutely. The, with the mind person. Yes. But it's too much doing maybe in a dynamic life it feels mm -hmm. that not enough time to sit and contemplate and yes. to be and, and, and... Yeah, it feels like that. It feels like that. It feels like that. That is not enough time. I know that. You know, there's like so many things happening and, you know, it's almost if you're going to tidy up all those loose ends, there's no time left. And by the time time is left, you're too tired to use the time that's left, like this. But I don't want to put something monumental in front. Make a start. Just make a start. Even if you say, I'm going to take three minutes, be fully in that three minutes, and you'll see it will give you eternity, if you can do it. If you say, I'm going to wait for the outer circumstances to be solved and to be resolved, the mind will just keep hitchhiking from situation to situation. But if you only have a minute, take that minute and really be, really take it. Just take that minute and let, let go of minutes and time. Just be, you know? And if it feels the minute is up, you didn't quite succeed, take another minute. Take another minute because. That minute, given the level of respect, of, which means your attention to yourself, not to figure out problems, just to pay attention even to the sense I am, to the sense of presence, to acknowledge presence, and don't combine it with any other thought. Please listen to what I'm speaking. If only you do that for one minute, say, just to pay attention just to presence, Already you begin to feel the waters of the self coming. You already begin to feel. You say, whoa, whoa. Because the mind will hide that. We say, one minute is not enough. Five minutes is not enough. You need, to, you need to go on holiday and make all this big epic, which you cannot do. Take one minute. Take one minute and sit. For, put the clock. Put one minute and just forget about the minute. Let the clock remind you. And just let go and just be aware. But I am here. Uh, don't associate with anything. There's a I am, the vibration of I am is here without attaching to any thought. Because thought appears, you can engage or not, but just pay attention to whether engage or not, the I am presence, which is your way of knowing that you exist without anyone telling you. Just pay attention to that. And keep doing that until you find that somehow this, this, the bliss begins to come the bliss of being. It comes from within you. It's like it's been almost like it's locked, but it's not. It's just there. It's just that your attention goes somewhere else, and that attention going somewhere else is eclipsing your your natural beingness, you see? So as you sit, even for a minute, you begin to feel again, oh, this peace is coming back. It's like the blood start to flow again, the blood of being. It's like oh, and keep Give another minute. Afford one more minute to sit with them. Take a minute at a time and see what happens. A minute at a time return you to timeless. A minute at a time will return you to timeless. It's a something that speaks from within you. It cannot come from without. It's from within. You see, it's your self contained. You sit with that and you begin to feel. And when you begin to recognize, nothing in the world can give this to you. Nothing in the world can give this to you, because it gave all things in the world. But it started here, in the root, the feeling, I exist, I am. Pay attention to this. Just keep paying attention to it. It seemed almost too simple, maybe even like a naive advice to you. How oh, can anybody work with that? No, no, sit with it. It is the, the it is the miracle of God. 
just be with it. You know, thinking wants to come in to say, yeah, now you got it, and now this, and to make all this commentary. Be aware of that, and just okay, just keep because you can. You are the master in your heart. You can just keep taking your attention back to put it here. You deserve a minute of the day for yourself. Put them there, and then if you enjoy, extend. Enjoy, extend. It's okay, and you see. At a certain point, even to say, just give a minute, and then come back and say, okay, can I have another minute? Mm. Okay, one more minute. If you were like that, if you had to come to me and say, can I have another minute, Oji? I say, uh, how do you do the last one? I say, I was kidding. Okay, I'll give you one more, put you on the clock. You will use that minute. Yeah, but if you give it to yourself, I think a minute. Uh, so I think, Start to see cappuccino. Uh, cappuccino. Maybe I come back. Have a cappuccino. This is how mind is. It multiplies itself. But you just sit like that one minute and feel it really one minute. See if you can really have a minute. Because sometimes your mind will not even give you a minute if you're going to look to him to give you the minute. Don't let the minute be a gift from your mind. Just take him. Just say here. And you, then you may see, you know, something is just stop, trying to stop you from even one minute. Like one minute just feels like an eternity. Oh, it's like he cannot give you one minute. He's gonna put a hamburger in there. He's gonna start put some chips. He's gonna put like a coffee. He's gonna put like a time. He's gonna put something, and just watch him. Then you know, you know what has been your struggle. But you keep doing this, and you'll feel the power coming back. You'll feel the power. Again, flower. It's all. It's there already, but you start to feel it's manifesting, because we are suffering from the manifesting, not from the unmanifest. Then you feel the power, the darshan of the unmanifest is coming back in you, and you see after that, because it's almost like the mind is trying to stop you from just even this, because it knows what power is in you. This is the play. It's the Maya. And just like that, as you begin to have the taste, the nectar. The nectar, the amrit. When you begin to taste that again, it's you are already falling in love. You're falling in love, but you're not falling down. You're falling up. You see, into the very heart of awareness. You see, you you know it. It's like nothing, nothing. It's like this world. Like, it's like the Maya. It's like the shatan. It will give you everything. You have get everything because it's the game. Always know that the supreme is above all things, and take everything as a gift, as an opportunity. But you take this thing, you see, and you start to feel again. It's flowing inside you again, and you start to fall in love again. With the one thing that can never leave you. But you missed it. You keep missing it. This. I'm telling you something which is right now attainable to you. I'm not telling you go on a course for six months and then come back. No, right now. We are going to finish that song in a moment. I say, sit right now with yourself. Sit a little bit. Spend a good ten minutes. Sit down, and just see if you can give yourself one minute. For you without you, you understand? You without you, you without your agenda and your projections, so on. Just sitting as beingness. Be aware. You see, watch the mind. And don't keep going, oh, no, my mind. No, don't keep reacting. Even when it's okay. Just each time, just keep coming back into this empty space of being. And I had to say that so that the next time I see you, which I hope at some point I will do, okay? I'll be able to tell just by looking at you. I'll be able to tell just by looking at you. Because there's something in us, that light of pure divine consciousness, that is somehow being, you know, as though there's a veil of mind in front of it. Like you're elsewhere. Look at you and you're elsewhere. You're elsewhere. We're always elsewhere into something, next thing, another you know, projection, and so on. Let me see your original face. Your timeless face. 
Don't try to show me. <laughs> Don't try to show me because I know him also. Okay? Forget about him. Just be with yourself like that. Just be with yourself and see. I'm speaking about facts, not about fiction. You sit and do this as often as you can. Take a moment to yourself and just sit. And just be clear. Just to be clear. At least I'm not. Doesn't matter if inside is going. Zh, 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 if the body zh, 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 doesn't matter. That doesn't mean you're not yourself. Actually, nothing means you're not yourself. Nothing that is shown from the mind means okay. Now I've lost it. If that's a thought. You bought it. You bought it, and you now are believing it into existence and become operation for you. If you didn't buy any thought at all, just feel them. Let them feel. Let them happen. But know that you are without you, they cannot even manifest because you are the weakness of them. With this, with this, with this, you are securing your place in the infinite. With what I'm telling you. Don't be a victim of time and mind. This is the trick of this life. It's like you're tricked out of your eternity, which is which is not true, it cannot be. But you're missing out on the glory of God. Within you. Hmm. So I'm not going to say anything more now. I'm going to leave it like this. As I said earlier, when you can bear and be the silence you are. You are in the taste of freedom. It doesn't mean thoughts shouldn't come. They can come. But they must have their right place. Anything can come. When the sounds, oh, I wish they would. Stop. No, no, no. Just let them go. Say, it's all God's working. Let them do it. Let them happen. Stop taking responsibility for that. And you will know what is your responsibility. And responsibility, they say, means responsibility, the ability of responding freshly. You see, and that is the that is the gesture of spontaneity. You know, you will know if you say, but how will I know? I tell you, just do what I'm telling you, and when it is time to know and not to do or whatever, something will inform you from within. You don't need to study in a manual how to be and really, no. You don't need to know how to be. You don't even know how to be happy. Don't study any of that nonsense. Happiness sprouts naturally from you. Pay attention to your being. Just keep paying attention. You say, well, but he didn't say what to pay attention and then do what? No. Shut up. Just pay attention. Keep holding. Out of this focus of just because your attention has been given to everything else. But now, just attention. Only here. Don't create any shape. You see, the knowing is already in you. You are just acknowledging the knowing. Anything that comes up, it is perceived. Don't touch. Don't go into any shape. Anything. This is your exercise. Then afterwards, afterwards you can go into shape. We'll see what happens. Okay, okay. But you are going to develop a longing in you to keep coming back here. And this is faithfulness. This is loyalty. This is the beginning of devotion. This is surrender. This is transcendence. To come back just to be. And to know the miracle of to be. Okay? So it's not stop doing, no, 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 no. No, we are too attached to doing. Leave the doing to life. Life is this is life force. It's flowing. But it fun it works in two ways. There is an action that comes from you, which is being generated from your ego mind. I need to do this. I want to get this. This action, you see, like that. But there is actions that come out of your cosmic being, means the actions that this body was made to perform. And it produces much more joy when it is not you know, confused with the ego action. Do not try to fix them. Just keep paying attention to the being. He will sort it out. Just keep paying attention to your being. Leave it to the being. He will sort it out. Once you try to sort something else, you start to become a sorter-outer. 
which is another identity. Don't take any identity. Even yes, now I am go- I am just dedicated. It's just stop. Just be. Just be. There's a time when we hear the teaching. We have all the teaching, but now it has to be swallowed. And I'm showing you the most simple. Fix yourself, your attention, on just a sense of being. It is there before everything else. It's natural. It doesn't have a shape. How you know him? You know him when something else comes to be known. You know that you are not that. That's knowing yourself. You cannot know yourself directly, like oh, I can see my. No, you can. that's not knowing yourself. You come to know that you are knowing when something comes to be known, to be seen. When you see that, you say, okay, I am here to see that. I cannot be that. But don't give a shape to what you are. Only to what you see you give a shape. This simple thing, can I trust that you will try to remember this thing? And apply like that to everyone. Doesn't matter if you've been here first time or you've been here for ten years, doesn't matter. Use this exercise. Because I'm always looking to find and to put across something that is tangible and practical. If your spirituality is not practical, you're just going to go and jump to something else again. It's like a monkey stuff. But when you see that it works, it works, and stay with it. Don't say, been there, done that, try that, next thing. No, no next. Just be with this over and over, and you'll begin to feel the fruits of it. Don't, let, don't try and make your mind be convinced. It doesn't work. You know? It's like asking your mind to be quiet. Mind be quiet. Oh, he loves that. He loves it. Try try be quiet. Go, mm-hmm. He's gonna laugh at you. No, you be quiet. And to be quiet means to put an attention just on the sense of being. Not as a thing apart from you. You are here already. And at first you, your mind may say, Well, you don't know. What is he telling you? You cannot do that. What's he what are you gonna focus on? And all this kind of stuff. Because that's that's been the reflex, that's been the habit to go out and to contact something. So this you do. Thank you.